Hi, Hi Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And we, we are, are the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Yay, we got it all out. <laughs> <laughs> One shot, no retakes. <laughs> yeah. We're in good shape. So we had a pretty good week. I did anyway. How about you? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. I've been a little busy. So the only floss tube that I've watched is um, Linda Joe, and I haven't decided whether I'm calling her Linda or Joe, because she says you can take your choice. But she's pretty southern on yes, floss I watch tube. Her. And I'm not quite caught up, but I think I'm in. I think I'm in February now. Oh. So, because I've watched her from the beginning. Well, I started at the end, and yeah. <laughs> I've been moving back. <laughs> She's been kind of fun to watch the progression uh -huh. of them. So, I just passed the video where she um, dyes the fabric. Have you seen <gasps> I that? I haven't seen that one. That's a good one. Okay. So, Something to look forward to. And we get to see her husband in that one. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. I like seeing that <laughs> So, we asked you last week, are you a Nancy, a one-at-a-time stitcher, or a Lara? A stitch on whatever calls to you. <laughs> and it was pretty even. Yeah. Um, of the people who answered, there was one more Nancy than Laura. Although a couple of the Nancys said, but, you know, then I put one in my purse and I have that purse project going. Yeah. And then if I need to, then I do the the other one. Oh, and maybe, yeah, I only have one cross stitch, but I have one quilting, one knitting, one crocheting, oh, one scrapbooking, one. Yeah. <laughs> So, so they are Maltese. <laughs> so, you know, there are a lot of us that like to just do our own thing. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, we have a lot of really great comments. <laughs> In fact, yes. I told Nancy the first time that I looked at comments this week, um, they came really fast and furious. And we already had 51 comments on last week's video. That was cool. So it was amazing. And we are on video number seven. This one is seven. This right? one is seven. So uh, we those were all the comments on video six. And I, um, no, that was on video six. I see your comments in my email. And Nancy goes out and looks at them. Has to look them up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That gives, yep. I can see you all together, all at once. <laughs> um, so Kansas City Girl in a Colorado world just found us and she still has her 816 phone <laughs> and she hasn't been to Cece's. Oh what my gosh. <laughs> you need to go. Yeah. Wow. What a good job. <laughs> uh, Linda Ecker has been enjoying my whip parade. I'm so glad you have because <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm really just torturing you all with it. Yeah, yeah. And she also really loves Nancy's fabric wall. Who doesn't? Really? I do too. <laughs> it's very inspirational. And sometimes I watch our videos back, and I know you do too. Yeah. And sometimes I find myself just kind of staring at the wall. <laughs> Maybe that color. Wait, that one? No, I really like that one right yeah. there. Uh, Shannon Francis. Green Thumb is in the April 1993 Just Cross Stitch issue, she told me. Oh. And she said she was so happy to see somebody mention it. And she's on another project in the magazine. So, Shannon, you said you're happy to see somebody mention it. Is that because you're the designer on it? Because I couldn't find a designer name. You know, they didn't put designer names on everything. So, which one is Green Thumb? Is that That's, mine? Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Okay. I was trying to figure it out. So, yep. oh, cool. So now I know the name of it. Yep. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Cindy Rush. I have to write that on the back. Yeah. Cindy Rush says, you ladies are enablers. I keep adding patterns to my wish list that I see you working on that I've not done. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, we do the same thing. We keep thing. doing that too. <laughs> We keep watching Floss Tube, and the list is longer and longer. Yeah, and now Jamie's watching with me, uh -huh. and she's like, oh, I like that one. Do you think I can do that one? <laughs> <laughs> and I have to look it up for him, put it on a list. So. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is that um, I have put things, I have a Pinterest board, and that's where I put mine. That's where I put mine. And um, I have been through my stash this week looking for some other things, and I think I've pinned things ah! that I already have. <laughs> I love it when you do things like so, that. So, and they're patterns that like maybe I bought when they came out. Yeah. And now people are getting excited about yeah. them. Well, and what I do on Pinterest when I do that is I go in and put, I edit and put have. 
And then once I get it done, I put, done! <laughs> Exclamations! I just delete them. Oh, no! I have to. I, I like already them. have them. They're so pretty. I have to see them. Um, Leslie Reinhardt said she loves both, both of our Voice of the Shepherd pieces. And she's looking for the pattern. Um, I don't know that I've come across the pattern, but Leslie, if I come across the pattern, you can have it. Me too. Me do you too. Have, you I, have, we I, both have that, I right? think we do both have that one. So if I can... Because we stitched at the same time. Yes. So um, if I have it, if I can find mine, if it hasn't gone to a garage sale someplace, you can have mine too. Either one of us. So what we'll do is we'll look during this week and next week we will put them up here and I don't know if you watch Bendy Stitchy and Michelle yes, I'm sorry yes. I keep calling you Bendy Stitcher I know it's Bendy Stitchy, Stitchy. so um, I like that Michelle takes things and says hey look at this pattern say I want to stitch voice of the shepherd and then she draws for people. And oh, fun. You know what? Maybe we'll do Maybe that with we'll, some of our stuff. Yeah. Because we like Michelle's idea of spread stitchy kindness. And, yes. And we absolutely. would like to maybe help with that mission. Yeah. And I've got, you know, we both have patterns we finished. And, mm -hmm. you know, you hate to just see them laying on your shelf. Yes. You want somebody to be having fun with them. There are some that I keep. Like, I keep Shepherd's yeah. Bush charts because I like their bands. And sometimes, uh, especially when I did Round Robins, I would um, maybe use some of their bands in the Round Robin pieces. Well, and that's what you used uh, reference for our retreat sampler, too, some of those. Well, a couple of them, I think. Mm, not on that one so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was my big book. Oops. But anyway, close. You, it, There was a Just Nan in there. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, Mary Anderson Dix said she lives in Missouri and wants to meet. Well, Mary, we are going, I think you probably have heard this a couple of times, March 31st, we will be out at CC and Company at 9.30 when it opens. And then, That means I'll have to get up early. That will not be a fun day for me. <laughs> and then we are going to Panera Bread on uh, Coronado, Coronado, Coronado Drive. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, and you guys will like that because that's right off I seventy. Yeah. So it'll be great access to. What's the to name go. of that street? Adams. Adams Dairy, Dairy Parkway, I think. Yeah. And so. it's it's pretty direct. We leave CC and Company and it's head that, that way, way and it's not a big deal. Uh, Sharon Littlefield says she's a one project at a time unless it's eighteen or more pages. She I just started that. her first Heaven and Earth, and it has seventy one pages. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe that. Sharon, you will have to send me pictures of your progress because, wow, I'm impressed. And it's a Four Seasons piece. Wow! So that's gonna be huge. Yeah, um, we had kind of a fun one this week. <laughs> Linda Beebe said, what is floss tube? It's showing up in my feed. What the heck is it? This is it, Linda. Yeah, you're looking at it. <laughs> I did reply back to her. She, from what I can tell, is a scrapbooker. I think. And um, she had made some beautiful cards. She only has a couple of videos out there. But she had made some beautiful cards and... I think that's more what she is looking for. But, of course, you know, like, I get crazy things for, you oh, should yeah. watch this video. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm looking at it going, uh, no. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> so, uh, Gail B. said that to trim a pattern. Now, she's talking about my great big pattern for Glory in the Morning. Yeah. It where it's no, printed wrong. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not printed wrong, where it's not printed the way I would like for it to be yeah. printed. She says to trim that pattern, she lines up the pages and holds them together with post-it note tabs or flags. And then when it's time to put them away, they come apart easily for storage. And that's yeah, they're reusable, yeah. so that'd be perfect. And that's a that's great, a great tip. idea. So thank you for that, Gail. Uh, D. Hansen. Said she can't make our March stitch day, but wants to come to the tr retreat, maybe. And we would love to see. We, um, we've we done a little bit of investigating, and I mean, it'll probably be a long-term thing. We probably shouldn't even talk about it until we're really ready, but yeah. we get excited yeah. about these things. She also wants to know our age difference. <laughs> 
there's seven and a half years yes. between us. Yes. So. I'm the oldest. <laughs> I'm the baby of the family. So. But there's nobody between us. No. So just, just the two of us uh -huh. here. So. Um, and then Martha Johnson says she took a 35-year break from stitching. Wow. Your break wasn't that long. No, I don't think so. <laughs> and she's curious about shops in New Orleans. Well, um, again, Martha, I'm very sorry, but Nancy and I have not been to New Orleans. It's, but, it's on the to-do list. Yes. But... but if there are some stitchers out there who have been to New Orleans or live in that area, if you can recommend some shops for her, maybe she will see this and read through the comments and find them. That would be great. Yeah, so, let's share our knowledge. Yeah, because I know that I've seen, um, I mean, my daughter lived just outside Cincinnati, and I had no idea there was a shop there until <laughs> I started watching Pam and Steph. And, of course, my daughter has moved home, so, <laughs> so now you I can't don't go get visit. to go visit. <laughs> yeah, so that irritates me a little bit. We'll just have to make a trip up there and stay all night. We might. We might. Um, from what they said, they could have a shop hop between uh, uh several of the shops maybe maybe a lower ohio and an upper ohio oh, but um they have a lot nice. of shops i mean more than than we ever knew about wow so um so next up our finishes i don't have a finish this week and i walked out of the house without one so i forgot uh, without a previous yes without a previous finish so i forgot but i asked nancy if she would show this one and, um, come on, silly thing. And she doesn't know just like right offhand where the pattern is. Actually, yes, we do because it's at my house. Oh. So, because she passed her stitchy kindness on to me. But this is it. It's Victor and Irina by Plum Street Samplers. And that's from um, one of the shops. So that is, well, that's actually, I think, the Plum Street picture. Okay. So that's what it looked like. Okay. So get prepared. <laughs> I went to do this one, and I asked my son, I said, hey, I want to do this. I want to do this design. And I gave him two or three different colors, and he immediately picked this one. I want you to do it on this. And I'm like. Are you sure? <laughs> He's like, yes, we need to do it on this. I think it'll look great. Well, I like it now. So here it is. And it took me a little bit to get used to it. It's but green. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's wonderful. And it's a blue green. Yeah, with um, splotches of white. I don't know if I hold it back, if you can see it better. Splotches of white. I did Victor's Mane and Whisper. I need to get that little tool out and fluff, yeah, and him, fluff up. him up. But there's so many little things on here that I love. And, okay, this is one I did really quick, and I went, oops. <laughs> so I need to take it apart and do it properly. But I, like I it. love it. I think it's cute. I think it turned out good, and the colors all went really well. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. That's my little fun one. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have for finishes. So next, I'm ready to torture you some more with the whip parade. Oh. I didn't give you this. Oh, okay. Goodness. There's my big bag. That's a big bag. It just is the one that was empty. <laughs> okay. I'm sometimes, like, wow, how many, how many yeah. whips are we doing? <laughs> sometimes that's how I decide. It's the one that was empty. That's, you know, um, makes sense. <laughs> Um, the first one I want to show you is a friendship sampler uh, by Carriage, Carriage House Samplings. I wanted to make sure I said the right one. And this is what theirs looks like. And um, I actually don't think that that spot for the hair is left blank in there. I think there's a heart in there. But I got this idea that I oh. would, instead of doing, you know, all of the names on there that don't mean anything to me, that I would start and... Um, collect floss from my friends in their favorite colors and stitch their names on. And I've only done a couple so far. I'm in the middle of one of them. So I have those to show you. The one I'm working on up there is actually Debbie Dewey's. 
<laughs> and it's really pretty. Debbie likes purple like I do, and uh, so the base, the, the splotches on hers are purple, and then the other is really pretty teal and purple together. Oh, yeah, it's going to be really pretty. And Judy Starkey absolutely is a red and gold. Yes. And Lisa, that's so pretty. She just sent me one color, and I found a heart that I liked, and I've chosen um, a base color that I'm using to do this. Now, Nancy, you should not put this one away because you want to give me floss. Because my sister has not given me her favorite floss yet so that I can <laughs> well, do it. She always brings it out when we're someplace else. But mm -hmm. now we're in my room, so. I bring it out when we're at stitching events yeah. because then anybody who hasn't given me something will yeah. a lot of times. And so it may not be their their absolute favorite um, color, right there. but it's it's something that they like that they're working on. So, my next one is um, a piece where I'm doing four together, and I've done three of them, and I'll show you, oops, yeah, I'm okay, oh, that's what it is, there's one slipping out. So, the next one that I am going to do is this piece ornament down here, and really, really pretty. I, uh, I should have looked to see what color I chose for it, oh well. That's okay. But what I have done so far is these three. I have Believe, Joy, and Dream. And um, I just chose colors that I thought would go well together. And I have enough room over here. I haven't even looked to see if I'm on it. Sorry. Because uh, I was reading from the back. Yes. Um, so I have enough over here at the side to put one more tree and then I'll frame them together. And then I think I have at least four more charts um, for these things. And I will do them um, individually so that I can frame go the one big it. one. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, I can either oh. go around it or scatter them in the room. That would be so. pretty. Um, I used to do, I can't even think what that thing was called, years and years and years ago where you had to go out, and um, you probably wouldn't even know what this was. I, I can't tell you what the name of this group it was. was. the time when I was not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a group, um, before we had all the chat rooms and things, people figured out how to create a chat group. And um, it could sometimes get pretty ugly and vicious. But I found Lisa Steele... And my pattern is number 51 out of 250. And she posted on the group and said, Hey, this is my first design that I'm releasing. It's Quatrefoil. And I really liked it. And it's kind of a seasonal piece if you look at it. Um, oh, there's stuff. The. And so I chose some different flosses and a piece of fabric that I really loved. And... This is what I have done so far on it. That's really pretty. I love the green fabric. It's really delicate. And it's almost a sagey green, isn't it? I should bring the little piece that I did with this, and that's my remnant. Oops. So, Oops. Oh, yeah, you have to put it in the right bag. <laughs> uh, the next one that I have is Oh Beautiful from Shepherd's Bush. I love, love, love their samplers. I think I've said that before to you. And it is just really such a pretty one. And oh, I've made yeah. okay progress on it, but I haven't worked on it in a while now. And um, I need to pull it back out. And I actually started at the top on this one, which if you know me now, you know that that's not normal. But I think... Um, Those flowers were just so pretty, they probably were drawing you. I just, you know, their instructions are given in order and... I don't know. I just decided I would do it that way. So I'm in a row of over one verse. And sometimes I get hung up on that. And really, I need to be in good light to do things like that. So that's how I did on Nest. I am in all of the uh, verse on it. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so not my favorite thing to do over ones. I have another little pretty one here. <clears throat> These are all the flosses and things for it. And even there's some beads. So this one is the Easter egg sampler by the Drawn Thread. Um, for me, I feel like this one's a little different than 
what I normally see from them. But it's got a row yeah. of awful cute bunnies, which I have not made it to. <laughs> but let me tell you. Well, that's next. But this is all, these little, these little things are taking a long time. Oh. Can you see all the stitches? Yes. In there? Are they so, squirrels? They're, I think they're little um, colonial knots is what I'm doing, oh, I think. Oh, okay. There's what I have done so far. And it's it's really a pretty, pretty, pretty piece. And the colors are so gorgeous. They really are. But it's really very a pretty. little tedious for me. And again, I probably need to be in good light with good eyes. You can see we're filming at night this week. Yes, and it's a little dark. I can tell I'm puffier. <laughs> yeah. My eyes are not quite as open. So, But that's okay. Then what am I doing? We're filming here? at night because we're going to a stitching um, event tomorrow, and won't be available to do it tomorrow during the day. Mm -hmm. And we so. might film a little bit while we're stitching if the ladies Maybe. are mm -hmm. agreeable with that. But um, but we just decided not to haul everything down there and just do this part tonight. Yeah, much so. easier. Um, that's the end of my whip parade tonight. Oh, I mean, it okay. was short today. Okay. So I think I only have, I've, I've counted so far. And if I showed you, I think I showed you five today because I thought I had six and one of them was really done and just needs to be finished. <laughs> See, you could have shown a previous finish there. Yeah. Oh, I could have, couldn't I? <laughs> it's really cool too. <laughs> Fish that out. Yeah. <laughs> So, if I did five, then that puts me at 51, which is less, it's it's fewer than I had last year. Last year, I had 63, okay. and I gave up or gave away three. three, and I finished five out of the list. 55, so 55 is what you were down to then. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. And I, um, I still have... about a dozen to find for you and maybe I'll find a couple more but um, of the ones that I've shown you this year I've already finished Magic Garden Sampler and Brown Bunny Run and um, you'll find out here pretty quick that I'm really close <laughs> on another one and and maybe if I get any time I'm gonna be really busy this next week even though it's spring break uh, she's gonna let me show my finish <laughs> Uh, even though it's spring break, I'm going to be really busy, and I won't be um, I won't be probably stitching as much as I normally could. So Nancy and I took this was the last class, right? Yeah. This was the last class that the Old Mill Stitchery hosted um, Blackbird Designs to do. So this one is called Hats Off to Uncle Sam, and they gave us oh. I just threw it on the floor. That's okay. They gave us that big. <laughs> I could fish it out of there. Oh, but that's know. great. Here, I can show you what they gave us. <laughs> oh, thank you. That will help. <laughs> we'll pick that up later. There's always fun in our videos, and we don't edit. Wow. <laughs> okay. So they gave us, here, how about I hold this? Do you want to show them cards? Or? So this is the base, and we're dust it off. Yeah, we're supposed to <laughs> glue this thing on, and Nancy's evidently came off. But it, it won't stay because my box is warped, <laughs> so I got to figure out how to do that. Maybe I I can help you with that. But uh, anyway, so then there's this is the part that we put on, Comes and off. then your little piece can go in there. And you can uncover it if you want. So what we have is an Uncle type. Sam hat. Yeah, very cool, huh? So it was a cute idea. Look at this fabulous fabric. It is beautiful. And that's my finished piece. So we made pins that day too. And I didn't make pins because I was stitching and Nancy said this fabric was too tiny and too dark and she couldn't see it, so she made my pins. Yeah, so I made a bunch of pins. So, and, Which was fun. Oh, and look. They're in here. They gave us all kind of the same pieces for them, so everybody's yeah. look very, very similar. Let me get that part, and then I'll just dump. But 
once I get the pin cushion made, that will work. Oh, I gotta re glue, huh? Got loose, huh? These are the three little pins, and I think they're really pretty. We'll do it up here. There we go. Aren't they really pretty? So, very sweet. Be really cute. Yeah. So, that's my previous finish. Thank you, sister dear. You're Even welcome. I know I threw it on the floor. <laughs> that was too good. So next we um, we want to show you some stash. I think we teased you a little and told you we were going out to CC and Company, and um, we had a nice trip out there. Yes. Um, oh, and I was gonna say we became famous. Yeah. Yes, we were excited. <laughs> they told us that we mentioned that we do floss tube, and they said, "Oh, we know. People are coming here and going." We saw your sh your shop on Floss <laughs> Tube. Yep. Addicted Sisters. Did you know that Addicted Sisters Shops are filming here? in Kansas City? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. It was fun, fun, fun. And, oh, my gosh, they told us if we had been there a little bit earlier, we would have met we some met people. Somebody. And we both went, no, nah, because we really want to meet some of you guys. Yeah, that would have so. been real fun. Uh, stash. Do you want to go okay. first? Do you want I'll me go to first. Okay. I'll go She's first. She's excited. I got one that is, um, it's probably not very new. It's 2017. So that's, it's, that's not, it's too, not bad. too old. But I know everybody has seen this one. Hello, Spring. So sweet. From uh, Plum Street Samplers. So it's a little bunny carrying the sprig of spring. And I got some of the flosses. And I, I think I kind of... It was hard because they, um, the colors were so different on them this time. Mm -hmm. It's been just long enough that... That they switched them out. So these are the ones that I got. And even, Let is me. this the one that, um, I think this is the one that, is, it's one of those two. Which one? Honey Bunny, I think. This it, one? Think so so yeah. that, that one at the end... Um, it was either this darker color like this, or it was almost white. Real pale, yeah, real, real pale. But and I think it's colors. supposed to be your bunny, right? Yeah. yeah. And I want my bunny to have some color. <laughs> so that's what I got. I I really was pretty good. Yep. <laughs> I, on the other hand, no, I didn't do too bad. I did buy this great big bag. Yeah. Which I love, 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 and it's blue. And it has a nice pull. That's part of what That's I like, really too. Cool. Because I should have got a bag for me because I don't have anything to <laughs> Sometimes my fingers don't want to pinch um, those the zipper pull. So I got two patterns. One is Bee is for Bunny by Lottie Da. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. What are they doing? Is that a, is that a specialty stitch on him? Nope. It's just stripes. Beads? No, it's just floss. Yeah. Okay. And the other one I got is Liberty Hill Farm um, by Silver Creek Samplers. I was trying to see if it said the name on it. I mean, I'm saying that's what it, it is. Liberty Hill Farm. And what's funny is that I noticed that these both have kind of the same colors. Yeah. If you will hold that for a minute, I'm going to pull some other stuff out. Nancy and I also looked at... Um, we looked at the these flosses, these limited edition flosses yeah. they have. And I bought <clears throat> one skein of this one. Is this white on the back? Uh, close. I bought one skein of this one that has purple and brown and pink. Really, really pretty. Is that the right one? No, this one. Here we go. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> It's got some purple and brown and yellow, and it's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty. And I got a couple of skeins of this green that we found. And That's, this is what my green was, too. This one, yeah. And I think um, this is where Nancy started kidding with hers. Really like that one. And then I found this other one, and I said to Nancy, Oh, my gosh, I know I need to buy all of these because... I know what pattern I want to do, and I don't know how much floss it takes. <laughs> well, it's not going to take anywhere near this. Like, I have floss to share. So, but, 
This is it. It's by My Big Toe, and it's called Be Not Forgetful. So I've just been waiting for the perfect floss to do that outside, and now I feel like this is it. I think that's going to look really pretty. I think it's going to work gorgeous. And I think maybe I'll do the verse in um, kind of a gray-brown, a brown-gray, yeah. because it'll match that that floss. But that is what I have from there. And then, um, because because uh, our, our viewers are so fabulous and told me exactly where this pattern was. Where is it? Oh, Shannon Francis. I went online and bought <laughs> <laughs> the issue that she told me. So on the front is a Teresa Winsler pattern. And... Um, Right back here in the back. It's not very far. I could have marked it. Oh! It's the very last one in here. Here it is. A green thumb. And... How fun! So I have it now, and that will be in my... That will get into my rotation soon, I'm, I'm sure. Um, and the fun thing is that I think it said on there that I wrote... I stitched it in 1995. Yes. This magazine's from 1993, so it will be interesting to see what I end up choosing yeah. because... it'll be real different because yeah. we're so much more into all the colors mm -hmm. now than just the planes. So... Very yeah. cool. It, it really... I was really happy it was there, and I've kind of gotten to be like that. Oh, I can go on and buy it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love to go to our shop, and I will, yeah, we will be in there and helping our shop out as much as we can. Um, current projects and plans for the week. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I'm working on and Sampler by Threadworks Primitives. And I thought I was going to really, I, I thought I was almost going to finish it this week. Wow, you are close. But I had a couple of days when I couldn't stitch at all at lunch. So I had events at work or working lunch or whatever. But I'm up to F. So I've got one more row above that and I'm done. Wow. So I would think by the end of next week I should have a finish for you. Woo. <laughs> because today at lunch I put almost three letters in and I ran out of floss and oh, decided, no. oh I'll go back I'll go back to work <laughs> so but you have your crown in I do and I have to tell you <clears throat> one thing I need to read on this and see if it tells me anything about the designer the little girl Anne because the lines in between I don't want to show that side the lines in between here, if you can see those, they're not even. Oh. So the letters are almost even, but not quite. So it's kind of a little wonky. So, you know, now that I can be wonky like I normally am, <laughs> it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it has to come naturally. Yes. I'm forcing it and it's just not working. <laughs> So this Just, week, okay. um, you know, I get on that, I get to that kick where I feel like I'm, I'm really so seeing nice. progress, and so I, I keep going. So this was my project last week, and it was my project this week too, Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs. And um, I didn't get as much time this week as I wanted, but I still was able to get... Uh, Will you do the uncurling? I sure will. <laughs> I did get all of the leaves on the um, on the up here on the yes. Branch. Thank you on the branch coming around the bird, and I did you some of the border. the border here. Nope, that was already done. I thought you only had part of it last nope. time. I had all of that, but I I okay. came up this side. I had not done any over here, so I got all that in, and I did this Eve. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm on Halloween, so I have that, and then I just have the alphabet above. Well, there's a, a little bush, and then yeah. an alphabet, and but it's really, really close. You're and getting there. And you know, I don't know if that's what I'm working on tomorrow, or if 
I'm working on something else because we'll be in really good light. Yes, yes. So maybe one of your 40 counts or something. Yeah, something that I need. Maybe that violet sampler that I showed Ooh, you. Yeah. But I also have to be able to um, to talk and visit with the ladies. And sometimes those are a little more intense yeah, than I can do. They are. I can do it with Nancy at the library because we... We are comfortable enough that we don't have to look at each other the whole time. And, you know, we don't even have to look up uh -uh. much. We can just sit and stitch. No. But it, And that's funny because we do. We just sit with our head down and stitch. And, and we talk. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, we just, unless one of us says, look at this, then and probably yeah. okay, we don't Okay, just look a minute. Up. Let me get this in. <laughs> I have five more stitches. Five more. <laughs> so, um, Nancy and I have decided. Oh, there's, there's my pen. Nancy and I have decided that uh, we want to do a stitch along with you all. Yes. And it'll we, be really fun. Yeah. We have chosen a pattern. And um, it is, should I just show it first and then we can talk about it? Yeah. So do it's that. by Rosewood Manor and it's called Two B's and ABC's. Now, Nancy and I actually agreed on this pattern. Well, it's, what's not to agree on uh, is We beautiful. really, really like it. And there are just so many fun colors and things. And I love the notes she put in here. It says, be creative. Use over-dyed threads to create an antique look for your sampler. This sampler could also be used as a bell pull. Add one of Rosewood Manor's 8-inch bell pull rods to complete the piece. Very Which, cute. that could be really, really pretty. It would be. It would be. So And a big old tassel at the mm -hmm. bottom. So, that's it. Um, it is, we decided this when I showed Nancy all of my Stitch Mania starts for May. Uh, so all the things I'm going to start. So this one, we are starting on May 8th. That is a so, Tuesday. Yeah, you've got a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And we'll remind you between now and then. So Nancy pulled some fabrics to um, choose between. Yeah, I pulled I pulled what flosses I had. It calls for 21 shades of DMC. <coughs> so, uh, and we both think that probably we'll pull this DMC and look at it and then maybe... Pull some over dyed flosses. How many yeah, did you? Get? I only have fourteen of them. So you're missing seven, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm missing black. I'm sure oh, it's over there someplace. But yeah. And if not, you have mascara or you have yeah. uh, coal <laughs> or whatever ones come yeah. along. Or Nancy Turner has some blacks that maybe you have. And actually, I don't. All I you have don't? hers are lighter colors. Oh, okay. More of the pastels, but. I'm trying to get them kind of spread out so you can see them, but they're not doing a good job here. But these are what we're, some of the colors are. Really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Really hard to see. You're getting a lot of glare tonight. And you know what? I don't feel bad showing you that part. So let me yeah, just show you this. And if you're interested, then at least you can start pulling some floss and... Um, you'll be ready. So you'll have to pause and yeah. jot those down or take a picture or whatever you want to do. But there so, at least you can see if you want to stitch right, with us. Right. I found, we looked on my wall, mm -hmm. you can see a couple holes here. I found some that I think might work. Mm -hmm. So I pulled a green. Really, really pretty. And see all the all the colors would look good on there, pinks and everything. And these are all, um, I don't, does this have a name? No. So this is a solo from and, um, Silk and Weaver. That one's a Lugana. Uh -huh. uh, Nancy's chosen all 28 count fabrics, and a fat quarter is enough. Yes. Um, now, it's only going to leave her now. Two inches. She's these doing, are shy. These she's are shy. She's trying to make sure that she, well, it's, Two inches if it's by 28. Yeah. So she, hers is by 27 on that one, so it'll be an inch and a half, which, you know, depending on what, uh, up and down. So depending on what you do. Yeah. I mean, if it's a bell pull, then. That'd be fine because mm -hmm. you don't need, you just need five eighths of an inch. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I would hate to stitch that close, but, yes. but that's all you really need. And then I chose a pink. So, and is it also a solo? I believe. Oh, no. Jamaica Sunset. Jamaica Sunset. And it's a cashel linen from uh -huh. Silk Weaver. So see, those would look really pretty on there again. Really, really pretty. 
I kind of like that one. Yeah, I do too. And then I chose a blue, believe it or not. But yeah. this is a big piece, so I'm not oh. sure if I'm going to want to give up a big piece. And this one is a solo. So, of course, it looks good with all the colors, too. And they don't say what size it is, mm -hmm. but it looks like a full half yard. Because it's, yeah, it, it looks like a full half yard. And, you know, I would, uh, unless I just really fall in love with that, I'm not going to cut that. I'm going to mm -hmm. wait and save that for something else. Maybe that would be pretty for the one that we've been talking about. I don't know if it's big enough. I don't remember what size I needed. Well, you'll have to look because that's really, that would be kind of pretty. That would be fun. And you can tweak your colors to make sure they show yes. on it. So, I don't know if this is really what I'm going with, but I happened to see this in a bag while I was getting ready to walk out the door. And what I thought was funny is that <laughs> obviously I've had this piece for a long time. It's Quartz Belfast 32 count from Picture This Plus, and it says new for 2015. <laughs> so, obviously, I've had this since 2015. That's great. But here is what it looks like. And um, it's really kind of a little bit darker version of the pinkish one that Nancy showed you. Which so. is really, I mean, just sitting here, that's what I think I'm going to go with is that pink. And we looked at the, if, when I look at her flosses, I'm going to steal them. Sure. So when I look at her flosses, I think, <laughs> I think that they would work fine. Oh, yeah. I think they look really pretty on there. So I mean, it really is the same thing that I've got. But Just I like the a modeling. little darker. Yeah. I like the modeling on yours. Yours maybe is a little more yellowy in the cream spots, and mine is more gray. Mm -hmm. And then it's got more of a pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So here again. If we, if this same, is what we go different. with, <laughs> this is what they, I can't catch it. Got this it. is what they look like together. And, you know, I'll have to decide. I mean, mm -hmm. mine looks very dark next to Nancy's, but I don't think it looks dark by itself. No. So I don't think my pattern would show up too, you know, I don't think it would be too dark with this. No, I think it would work on there. I really so. do. So if you have a uh, vote you want to give Nancy, you can do that. I don't know that she's going to take your vote, but you can <laughs> tell her what you think. Yeah, you can always tell me what you think. And you, you know, then you can feel like you're a part of that. Yeah. But please gather your supplies. We'll try and mention this every week until we get ready to start. I think that gives you about six weeks mm -hmm. to get ready. And the only reason I know that is because we are hosting a May Day exchange. Oh, yeah. Uh, in our yeah. Facebook group. And that's, we're going to have about five weeks of stitching time to do it. I'm... I'm drawing names tonight, and I had it all ready, and I just didn't bring it all with me. I don't know if I'm going to stitch. Really? Mm -hmm. We said it had to be a handmade item and then some other stuff, so yeah. I have a plan already, and it sounds like Nancy does, too. Yeah, I, I thought of something today I think I want to do. Now, what if you draw me? I, I we're, I'm not going to let us draw each other. <laughs> That would not be, you know, I'm just not going to let us draw yeah. each other. So last week we told you we were really close to 1,000 subscribers. Yes. And this morning I sent Nancy a text and said, we did it. So we are, um, we are there. And currently we're at 1,017. There it is. 1,017 subscribers. Come on, focus. That's two more than uh, before we than started. Than when we the video. started, yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Yay, thank you. And I'm so excited. I can't believe that many people really want to tune in and watch <laughs> us every week. And watch us laugh and I talk. Know. I know. Um, and Nancy and I have decided what we're doing, but it yes, will be. We have. She went, like, wait a minute. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, we have decided. And it will be probably a few weeks before we're ready to do it. So we will um, talk about our, our giveaway at that time. Yeah. And the way that you guys are, who knows, we may be over 1,500 in a couple of weeks because yes. this is video seven, seven. So in six weeks, we're over 1,000. I think that's, Amazing that's pretty good. We're, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, but our next three weekends are tied up, so that doesn't give us any time to create. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's why it might be a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> it may be the 1500 <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, we have some kind of exciting, fun stuff coming up for us. So yeah. it's, it, it'll just be a little, uh, we'll talk more about things when they happen. I'm yes. trying to keep this one under wraps. Thank so. you. But anyway, that is pretty much what we have. That's us. And I think I am going to finish watching uh, Pretty Southern this week. And I am moving on to Casey Girl in a Colorado world, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado world. I want to see yeah. what she's doing yeah. out there in Colorado. I pulled you up over here on my computer <laughs> so I can subscribe and start watching. Mm -hmm. My husband would like to come visit you already because his You're heart really Colorado. belongs in Colorado. So, yeah. <laughs> And he always says, if we win the Powerball, can we move to Colorado? And I'm like, well, only if I don't ever have to leave to go to work. Yeah, right, right. Who'd want to get out in that? <laughs> oh, I, love, I mean, I know it's not like that watching, all year no, round. but it's not. But I love watching all the snow. Mm -hmm. and even when it ices, I like to see that. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get out. I don't want to get out. Mm -hmm. So... That is us. Um, you're going to work on finishing this one. What happens if you finish that one this week? Because I think that's going to happen pretty quickly, considering we're stitching tomorrow. Um, I don't... I might start... Whoa, I'd have to pick out fabric! <laughs> <laughs> and it needs to be something small that you can finish. Because we're starting this May 8th. Well, I was thinking my Hello Spring. Oh, do you think she could get that done in six weeks? I would hope. <laughs> and then it can be mine, right? Yeah. Unless I have a lot of frog. <laughs> was that a ribbit? No, that was a frog. It. <laughs> a lot of frogging. So, that is us for this week. And I will tell you that that's Nancy. And that's Laura. And we're the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Got my tongue tied. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>